Hi everyone, this is Mike1013 for Flop Turn River. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about sizing your pre-flop raises. Before we get started, let's look at some of the stats that we have here. Um, on the first line, it's VPIP PFR 3-bet percentage. On the next line, it's CBET and fold to CBET. And those are the only stats we're going to be using, so you can ignore the other ones. So there's some times when you're going to want to make your pre-flop raise a little bit larger than usual. And conversely, there are some times when you're going to make a small pre-flop raise. Let's talk about the first situation, uh, the times when you're going to want to make a large pre-flop raise. I think that whenever there's dead money in the pot, whether through someone posting or through a limper or two in front of you, if you decide to play, you're going to want to make a larger pre-flop raise than normal. Uh, the pot size will be inflated, and so you'll want to cut down on the odds that you're offering your opponents. So you'll want to make a larger pre-flop raise than normal in order to capitalize on all this dead money. Another reason to make a large pre-flop raise is if you can identify exploitable tendencies in your opponents, which will allow you to win more money the more money you can get in the pot with them. Uh, let's take a look at this example hand here from a 25 NL cash game flow ring table. I have ace nine in middle position and there's a poster behind who posted the blind and the cutoff. And the, there's someone who limps, open limps, right in front of us. Let's take a look at his stats. He, he's a 23-9. So he, he's passive, probably not a very good player, and he has a weakish range here. That alone argues in favor of raising. Even more importantly, though, is the fact that post-flop, he's, he's folding to CBET 65% of the time. So he's folding about two-thirds of the time to CBET. He's, he's basically playing fit or fold on the flop, which is... You know, it's terrible to limp call and then play fit or fold. So the more money we can get him to call off pre-flop, it, it's that much more money that we're going to win when he folds to our C-bet, which he's going to do two-thirds of the time. And then the other third of the time, we're sometimes going to make the best hand anyway. So I think this is a very favorable spot for inflating the size of the pot a bit, especially when combined with the fact that there's the dead money from the uh, from the poster behind us. So I went ahead and made a six big blind raise here. So what about the other situation where we're going to want to make a smaller uh, pre-flop raise than normal? Well, let's look at the second hand here. This one happens at a 50 NL table, and we have deuces in middle position, and it folds to us. Now, let's take a look at the players behind us and what kind of action we expect to happen here. Um, most of these players are short stacked. And from looking at their stats, although it's a pretty small sample, it doesn't look like they're doing a lot of cold calling. It looks like they're doing a lot of three betting or folding. So when we open here, they're going to be three betting and they're pretty much committing themselves when they three bet or, you know, almost you know, they're, they might be right at the threshold of committing themselves, depending on sizing. So when we have a monster, we don't gain too much by making a huge pre-flop raise because they're going to be three betting and we can get it in anyway, almost no matter what we raise. If, on the other hand, we have a hand that we're going to want to fold to a three bet, well, then why would we make a large raise? We'd want to minimize the amount we're going to lose. So here in this situation where we have short stacks behind us and especially players who it, it looks like they're doing a fair amount of three betting. I mean, it is a small sample size. Um, but these are two of the things that will make you want to make a very small sized open race. Uh, short stacks behind you and players who like to three bet behind you. And this incidentally is why people in tournaments or people playing, you know, uh, cap tables why they make smaller raises, and they're correct to do so. Because with the small raise, you can still get pretty much as much value as, as you're going to get from your monsters, but it allows you to uh, 
save money those times that you have to fold. So I went ahead here and made a uh, min open, which I think does the job, and there's no reason to really go any much larger than this. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been informative.